Hi everyone, my name is Glenn Bartley and welcome to another video blog. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about some equipment that I use. Um, I wanted to talk today a little bit about flash brackets. Now for those of you who don't know what a flash bracket is, flash bracket is something that you install on your tripod or onto the plate of your lens. And the idea is that it's going to get your flash, which normally would be sitting right on the camera, up, well up, and off of the camera. Now why would you want to do something like this? Well. The reason is that when the flash is on the camera, it's very close to the lens. And what that means is very often, one of the, re one of the big reasons is that the flash gets sent out at your subject, in my case, a bird, and the angle that it comes back in on is so similar that you often get this dreaded steel eye effect, which is where the, the eye of the bird looks very shiny and uh, almost like a silver kind of metallic look to it. And, you can clone it out, you can work on it, but it's a lot more processing and it's, it can be a very undesirable look. Um, obviously the equivalent in humans would be the red eye that you everyone's familiar with. They've taken party pictures with the flash and, and you get this red eye look. So the idea is that by putting your flash up and off the camera, you've changed the angle and instead of that reflection from the subject's eyes coming back in straight through the lens, it goes off axis and you get a much more natural looking uh, result. So when it comes to flash brackets, we've got, like everything in photography, there's lots of options out there. Um, most bird photographers or many bird photographers are using some kind of a gimbal head. So there's a few kind of obvious choices out there um, that I want to talk about today, uh, both of which I have and use. Um, so the Wimberly gimbal head is kind of my standard go-to uh, tripod head. And I've been using a few different flash brackets just to test out which one I like the best and which one I'm going to be using in my own photography. So I thought I'd mention both of them. They're both good products and they both have their pros and their cons. Um, this first one I'm going to show you is from a company called Custom Brackets. Now what they did was they were smart. They decided to design a flash bracket that gets really up high. And that can be really desirable for bird photography because you, it, it really is nice to get the flash really up off axis. Um, so they've got their flash bracket here and you can get, you can get, uh, you can really get a sense of how much higher that would be than just the flash being on the camera. You're really getting it up and you can have it be up and off axis if you want as well. Um, so this is one option. This, this runs about $160. You can buy it, um, at B&H Photo Video or, or perhaps locally or directly from, from the manufacturer. And it is a good product. Before I had this one, I had the Wimberly flash bracket, and this is, they make a, a variety of different modules. One of the really cool things about the Wimberly products is that they are all modular, so these pieces all come apart depending on whether you're attaching it straight onto the Wimberly or onto a, a plate or onto maybe a Wimberly sidekick. There's, a, there's an option for you, so that's kind of neat. Um, and I, I used to have just this standard module, which was just this piece and this piece, and the reason why I went to the custom brackets model was that I thought it would be really good to get it up higher, and indeed it was. But then I realized that Wimberly also sells this extension post. And when you put that in there, we're talking pretty similar height now between these two, just a, maybe an inch difference. So I went back to this Wimberly one recently, and, and I have to say that the Wimberly build quality really is second to none. Everything locks down super tight, nothing rattles, nothing squeaks, nothing moves. And so for me, this is now my go-to uh, flash bracket. Um, this one is going to cost you a little more. The Wimberly standard sort of two-piece module here is about $200, and then this extension post is another $50. So you're talking about almost an extra $100, but for me, it, it really, it's the way to go. Um, so this is what I use. You'll notice that I've got this cord on here. Obviously, you've got to somehow transmit the signal from the camera to the flash, and so you can use a cord, or more and more cameras are starting to have a wireless uh, way of transmitting between camera and flash. I haven't used that very much, um, but I suspect that in the future uh, that will probably be the way to go without another cable to drag around. And these cables are notoriously fragile and break and uh, can be a real source of frustration. So if you're a bird photographer, if you're using a big telephoto lens, you probably want to be using a flash bracket to get your camera or your flash up and off the camera. And here are two options from Custom Brackets and Wimberly that you might want to consider. Uh, you can check these out on my website, go into the articles section, click through the gear links, and you can have a look at what, what I use. 
And uh, yeah, I hope you found this information useful. We'll see you again soon.